Welcome back to Crazy Dave's Crew. I'm Laura, and you're watching Thursday Threads. I'm going to continue with the star blocks. Previously, we had made the Ohio Star, or Tippet Canoe and Tyler 2. And one in reproduction, and here's one with black as a background and some bright solids. This time, let's work on the Twin Star. And I have a confession to make. I've avoided stars because I, I thought I couldn't do them. Um, a life lived in fear is a life half lived. And I always have to remind myself, I have to relearn that every few months. Don't be afraid. I have my set of fears that I have to overcome and keep trying. So don't be afraid. Give it a try. Why not? If you mess up, it's between you and the, the, the sewing machine. And like anything, it's practice. So the twin star. I could not find a whole lot of information about it, either in books or online, but I was able to confirm with an encyclopedia of patchwork patterns that this one is named the Twin Star. And the lovely part of this, with going from these blocks, I'm wanting these to be 12 and a half inches unfinished. Same way with the, these other ones that I've been working on. 12 and a half inches unfinished. So I know for a 12 and a half inch unfinished, nine patch, nine units, each unit needs to be four and a half inches before I sew them together. And what makes this one so much fun, and I, because this is so great, I'll probably be continuing with some stars. I have this wonderful little box full of four and a half inch and five and a half inch blocks. The cutting is the part that I don't care for. So I just took a, an afternoon and I just cut my little heart out. So what do we need? I have this whole box full of five and a half inch blocks and four and a half inch blocks and I've got solids, I've got patterns, I've got red, white, and blue, I have brights, I have reproduction fabrics, just not knowing what I was going to want to do. And these are some very common sizes, so I know they're going to come in handy for whatever I'm doing in the next few weeks. So, I have all my fabrics. Um, this is just a photo box I picked up from Walmart or Michaels maybe when they were having them on a really good sale. I think this is a Christmas one. So after Christmas, you know, they go on ridiculous clearance prices. So we need four, four and a half inch blocks for the corners. I need a four and a half inch block for the center. I need one five and a half inch block that's going to match my background, my corner pieces. Just one. I need one other piece to be the other little triangle that's next to the background. So I've got my, my corners, my background, and then I have this little piece right here. And then I need two five and a half inch squares for this piece. Okay? For my two little pieces, I've got my background and this other pink fabric. So I am going to cut it corner to corner. I wasn't terribly careful or precise with these because I know they're a little big, but I know I'm going to be squaring them up to be the perfect size. So I'm going to go corner to corner. Don't you love this rotating mat? I love it. And then corner to corner. So we have 
four sets of little triangles. And we're going to want them to look like this. Now, there are shortcuts, but what I found when I tried to do my shortcut, I had two this way and two inverted. And I kind of want them to all be the same, so. And then we just need to, and I like starting with the corner there. Sew these down. And you want to do them all the same way so that they all come out the same. Now, you could make them all go different directions. That is entirely up to you. It is your top. I'm just telling you kind of the way I like it. I may have to make one. And I have to say, I'm having fun with these. So uh, don't be surprised if I don't make up a whole bunch just to kind of show y'all what different options you have. And I'm just going to take these over and lay them next to the sewing machine because that's the next step for those. For our other two five and a half inch squares, we're just going to do one cut. One cut corner to corner. That's for our outside center units. Let's set these aside. And as always, I have my piecing foot, my quarter inch piecing foot. There's my little guide. I have my stitch right in the, in the center. And you don't have a whole lot of choice for that because if you have it on either side, you're going to jam into the foot and you're going to break your needle. Don't ask me how I know that because I'll never tell. And we're just going to sew these down. And I'm just going to chain them. Now we need to press. Remember, there is a difference in pressing and ironing. So I'm going to set my seam. The heat kind of loosens everything up. So pressing, you're just going to press it down. You know, ironing is when you back and forth, back and forth. Sometimes I will kind of roll it with the seam just to make sure I'm getting it open good. But at this point, we really don't want to be stretching or shape changing. We just want this to be a nice, flat, open seam. We're just going to press it. And I said, setting the seam, I think it really helps. I've heard of other people that they like using, you know, a little roller press. I I know it takes a little extra time to go and press every single piece, but I, I prefer it. Now what are we gonna do? 
we're going to take our other pink pieces and we're going to sew them down so that we get this. Again, I'm, pr I'm just going to kind of pin it and then I'm going to chain it. So let me go sew those and I will be back and we'll press them open and square them. So now I'm just going to press them open. And I'm just going to roll my seam. And there we have our outside center units. Once you have gotten these all pressed open, comes the very important step. It's not the fun step, it's not the exciting step, but it is a very important step. Scrap. So this, I want this to be a four and a half inch block, so that means this seam right here, where these two meet, that is a very important mark. Half of four and a half is two and a quarter. So I'm going to find my two and a quarter mark on here. I'm going to use this line on the seam. And then I'm going to use this little dot that shows the two and a quarter mark. Make sure that is right there on this, this seam between these two little pieces. So there's my two. There's my two. Right there is my two and a quarter. Right there. So that dot right there, I want to have right there. So, got that dot, this line on that seam. And let's move it this way. Again, my two and a quarter dot is right there. Ah, and look at that. My four and a half inch line is matching up perfectly with the outside with these edges. So we have a good, nice unit. So now all that's left, once you've squared up all your pieces, is to position them the way you're going to want them. And then my corner pieces. And my centerpiece. I don't know about that piece. <clears throat> Maybe we need a different what do you think? That one? Or maybe we should just go with the You know, as odd as it sounds, I think I like this green one. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Which would you rather uh, I do for this center? This green? Or the one with the pink roses? Or maybe this tonal? The dark red and the the little roses. Which one do y'all think I should do? This is actually the hardest part I have found is deciding on the color. Well, I hope you found this video to be helpful. I hope you're inspired. I really enjoy getting comments that we had a viewer a few weeks ago that she would bought fabric, always thinking she was going to quilt but was afraid or you know just never got around to it was nervous about it and I don't know seeing me do it made her think well gee 
Crazy Dave's crew can sew anybody can, right? After watching the videos, she wrote that she felt like maybe she could give it a try now. She wasn't as afraid. So that really made me feel good. So I do hope you've been inspired. I really hope you've found this to be helpful. Be sure to check out Facebook. We have our own group, Sewing and Crocheting for Beginners, and also a page, Crazy Dave's Crew. But there are so many groups on Facebook. Quilt Block Lottery, and they have an upcoming swap for August, which is 80 star pattern with black as a background and the brights. Quilting Blocks and Challenges for Beginners, great group. I think they're doing swaps every other month. Wonderful way to learn new blocks, wonderful way to experiment, practice, swap them out with other people, and just uh, be inspired. And the ladies on these groups, they're always so encouraging. You can also find us on the internet, cdcrew.com. I have a little bit of trouble getting that, you know, up and running. I would love to start making sure that all my blocks are on the website with pictures and instructions. I haven't quite gotten there yet. <laughs> Having a few rough days with the, with my senior gravis, ramping up for the fall semester for the school, I homeschool. I have my daughter Shelby who just did a Ipsy video. Senior, yes, she'll be 18 this fall and she'll graduate next year. And then my boys, twins, they're gonna be juniors. Yes, looking at getting a driver's license. Now you know why I have all this gray hair. Be sure to join us again next week. Chances are it's going to be another star. I admit I'm having a lot of fun. And I have my box full of four and a half and five and a half inch blocks. I'm ready to take on more. See what else I can come up with. Stop by and find out what trouble I'm getting into. I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope you have some good quality time with your sewing machine. Pet those fabrics, make those squares, and we'll see you next time right here on Crazy Dave's Crew.